Hello Aries, this is going to be your Venus Direct video. Alright, so we're going to have the... Coming out first, we have the Emperor, that's your energy. So you can be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries as well. Or um, someone who's very stubborn or there's just a stubborn energy between you and someone else. Five of Pentacles here. So your partner's feeling like either you've kind of turned your back on them um, or they've turned their back on the relationship. That's what they're thinking anyway. So we have the Eight of Wands. So they want to reach out. Um, they're feeling like they need to connect with you for some reason or try to move the relationship forward. It's kind of suddenly a, um, a, wa a want to work on things with each other. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Then we have the Five of Cups. So there's definitely a sadness about the way things have been between you two, realizing the past um, energy. And then we have the Four of Cups. So wanting to come forward with an offer, um, but they are hesitating to do so. So just know that your partner is thinking about trying to move forward and reaching out. I feel like this has a lot to do with Mercury retrograde for a lot of you guys because Mercury does go retrograde at the end of Venus. This apprehension to move forward. It also could be because of a third party with the Three of Pentacles. Um, but I feel like I'm going to do a Venus, I mean, a uh, Mercury retrograde video. So definitely pay attention to that because I feel like they, like these are two um, opposite energies. The Eight of Wands is wanting to move forward, wanting to reach out, wanting to get out of this Emperor energy that you two are experiencing. Um, but there's an apprehension to do so. And I feel as though because either you, Aries, have turned your back on this person and you may be making it difficult for this person to reach out to you, or it could be the other way around. They could be kind of turning their back on you, right? Um, I feel like it's a third party. Someone, it's, it's either you, Aries, that has a third party or your partner does. And that's kind of what's getting in the way of this connection here. Temperance is a, yeah. So temperance, I feel that this energy will um, continue until, for some of you, after Mercury retrograde. I feel like that is what's also delaying this forward movement. Or it's some type of, it's, there's something delaying um, you guys moving forward with your partner Aries or your partner wanting to move forward. They want to move forward feelings wise, but they're just not doing so. And I feel like it's a delay of some sort, either the unwillingness to let go of a third party. It could be financial issues for some of you with the five of pentacles, but I feel as though two months or so from now, you will be feeling a different energy from this person. <coughs> So as it is a waiting game, the, yeah, it's an offer that's not being made because of some type of delay here, okay? Libra was also getting this energy for their November, so some of you could be dealing with your opposite sign, Libra. So just know, Aries, that you are dealing with someone who wants to come forward with an offer. They want to move forward with you, but either you're delaying the connection, okay, or they're delaying the connection. And it's either due to third party, stubbornness, lack of funds, but there's definitely a lot of like bipolar energies in this spread, meaning like wanting to work on it, wanting to move forward, but not doing so. Four of Cups, okay? Or maybe they did make an offer, Aries, and you, you're kind of like, I don't know if I'm ready to move forward yet. Okay, I do see that here. But there's a lack of an offer on the table here because of circumstances and maybe some unresolved feelings. But it's not because this person doesn't want to move forward, okay? They could just be plain out stubborn with the Emperor energy here. They could be someone who doesn't want to make the first move or they're just giving you a hard time, you know? Kind of like that type of energy. What's, why is this Emperor here? Why is this Emperor here? <clears throat> Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, someone may be juggling. That could be what it is. Either you or your partner. Yeah, it's a Three of Swords situation. So it's due to some messy stuff in the past. Maybe someone juggling or again, a third party, some type of heartbreak situation in the past. So there's like bad, not bad blood, but unresolved feelings here as well. Maybe this person is taking their time to deal with their feelings or you are so that th things aren't moving forward right now. So I give it I give it time with temperance. This is just not even a good time for you guys to reconnect yet because there's still some things that are not being hashed out yet. There's still some cycles that haven't been closed. The Ten of Swords is where you want your partner to be so that they can move forward with you. They're not done with whatever tests they're going through during these retrogrades. Okay, whether that's flushing out old energy, getting rid of a third party, opening up more, dealing with unresolved feelings, etc., etc. Okay, so I hope that this does help you, Aries. I'm going to go ahead and pull out an Oracle card for you.
Well, that wasn't long at all. You have let go, let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So this could go for you or your partner, Aries. Um, it could be your partner that needs to let go of control issues and let you come through when you're ready to come through and deal with your issues when you're ready. Or it could be you who's trying to force things. And I've talked about this, um, but I feel like it could, it could be your partner for some of you. It could be your partner who's trying to like make things move faster than time is willing to allow or circumstances are willing to allow or it could be you doing this Aries either way someone has to let go and let things come to fruition I feel as though once these two months have passed and this energy has maybe cleared I feel like you will understand why things had to be the way that they are okay so I hope this helps you Aries please make sure that you leave a comment or a like and you can also subscribe for more content that will be coming in November all right. If you need a personal reading, you can always check out the link in the description. Okay. See you later, Aries. Bye.